Well, now we obviously have that amazing moment when you're writing on the, the window in the office. And as a filmmaker, I'm wondering how long that actually took someone to do and how much of that are you actually writing in yourself in that, in that moment when you're writing all those numbers in? It took a while. <laughs> it took a while. Was there somebody say. who was doing that, like just like all day long, writing those numbers? Well, what we did was uh, we we got we had Ben. We got Ben's handwriting. That's a cool thing, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we got Ben's handwriting, and then we were replicating that with. Oh. Uh, so th th it, that really it turned wasn't... my handwriting into a font <laughs> with a computer. Yeah. What's that called? Affleck font. I guess they gave it to me. So now my you, I can type in my own handwriting, so they could print out with a computer in, in, in a font that looks like my handwriting, so a computer printed all that stuff out. That's amazing! But in my handwriting, I know, cool, right? I thought that was a really neat trick. Yeah. That is awesome! Yeah, so, and then, and then we had, uh, so you can basically, it, it, it wasn't really on the glass, we were just putting up these, um, these like, uh, these, sheets uh, of, yeah, like yeah. just sheets with the, so Ooh. we can do all different levels, take them down, put them back up, and yeah. it was such a process to get that. <laughs> Correct and right, and making sure all we had. A, I had a forensic accountant with us through the whole process to make sure all the numbers were accurate in regard to the, you know, in regard to the uh, accounting and. That's so cool. Yeah, it was, but fun. Mr. Affleck, I've been waiting eight months to ask you this question, uh, and as you can see, I'm wearing Batman vs Superman shoes. All right. <laughs> because I saw it four times. Saw Great. it twice in 70 millimeter, once in digital IMAX, and once on the uncut version. I absolutely loved the movie. Oh, thank you. Good. And I know there was like so much You've surround. Seen it more than I have. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. Seen it more than I but have. I love. I, mean, I know there's so much negativity surrounding it when the critical reception. Did anyone ever stop and just ask you what you think of the film? Like, what did Ben Affleck think of that? I thought uh, it was excellent. I uh, loved it. Uh, thank you very much. And I, 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 I know Zach would appreciate that. I mean, it's interesting. It was a movie that got like that was a huge hit movie <laughs> that you know so many that more people went to see that than a any movie I've ever made in my career. Mm -hmm. You know, this was my biggest hit of my career. And then it had some a lot of editorial negativity. Although the, the I think the reviews were the sort fans of fans liked it. Fans went, you know, and and, and I got a lot of um, uh, positive response and, and it was interesting that movie because it, it was like it was judged um, not necessarily on execution so much as like its tone. You know, some people people seem to want to have a, a lighter tone to the to the movie and so that's sort of what um, and I thought that was interesting because it's a subjective. T tone isn't like a qualitative thing; it's subjective, hmm. right? You can, you, you know, I can, some tones resonate with me and might not with you. So, and the tone of the movie was really paralleled, you know, the Frank Miller book, so which I liked, me too, um, and and, th and thought was great. So, and I'm glad that so many people went and so many people liked the movie and uh, it Did worked you like out. It? Yeah, yeah, I loved it. See? Thank I love again. the line that J.K. Simmons says about imagine the secrets this guy has. And for me, a script lends so much to who a character is, and we fill in a lot of your backstory with the children's sequence as well. What is a secret that you added to Christian that we wouldn't know as an audience that helped you get into the character? Well, really, what was what I built this character on was the support and the research from the people that I met with, and I got a ton of of <clears throat> wonderful like character nuance and detail from talking to people who are whether they're teachers or they're people who are on the autism spectrum themselves and uh, who really want to participate and had a lot of suggestions and, and were very self-aware would say you know in my life it's like x and y and z and i i sometimes try to do this and that and, and hmm. so i got all these um deta personal details from people about how they see their lives and that made it so easy to, I had like more than I could use in terms of material to draw from for the character. And I felt secure that it was all, you know, rooted and grounded in something realistic because that was important to, to Gavin and I for sure. Yeah. Um, but that was definitely at the, the people that, that helped out with the research were at the heart of the character. Like my handwriting, so a computer printed all that stuff out. That's amazing. But in my handwriting, I know, cool, right? I thought that was a really neat trick. That yeah. is awesome. Yeah, so, and then, and then we had, uh, so you can basically, it, it, it wasn't really on the glass. We were just putting up these, um, these like uh, these uh, of, yeah like yeah. just sheets with the so Ooh. we can do all different levels take them down put them back up and yeah. it was such a process to get that c correct and right and making sure all we had a, I had a forensic accountant with us through the whole process to make sure all the numbers were accurate in regard to the you know in regard to the uh, accounting and so cool yeah it was but fun Mr. Affleck I've been waiting eight months to ask you this question uh, and as you can see I'm wearing. Batman vs Superman shoes. All right. I love the line that J.K. Simmons says about imagine the secrets this guy has. Mm -hmm. And for me, a script lends so much to who a character is and we fill in a lot of your backstory with the children's sequence as well. What is a secret that you added to Christian that we wouldn't know as an audience that helped you get into the character? Well, really what, was, what I built this character on was the support and the research from the people that I met with and I got a ton of, of <clears throat> wonderful like character nuance and detail from talking to people 
who are, whether they're teachers or they're people who are on the autism spectrum themselves, and uh, who really want to participate and had a lot of suggestions and were, and were very self-aware. I would say, you know, in my life, it's like X and Y and Z, and I, you know, and, and, and I got a lot of um, a positive response. And, and it was interesting, that movie, because it, it was like, it was judged um, not necessarily on execution so much as like its tone. You know, some people, people seem to want to have a, a lighter tone to the, to the movie, and so that's sort of what, um, and I thought that was interesting because it's a subjective. To tone isn't like a qualitative thing; it's subjective, hmm. right? You can, you, you know, I can, some tones resonate with me and might not with you. So, and the tone of the movie was really paralleled, you know, the Frank Miller book, so which I liked, me um, too, and and th and thought was great. So, and I'm glad that so many people went and so many people liked the movie and uh, it Did worked. Did you like out. it? Yeah, yeah, I loved it. See, <laughs> because I saw it four times. Saw great. it twice in 70 millimeter, once in digital IMAX, and once on the uncut version. I absolutely loved the movie. Oh, thank you. Good. And I know there was like so much You've surround. Seen it more than I have. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, You've seen it more than I but have. I love. It. I, mean, I know there's so much negativity surrounding it when the critical reception. I'm, did anyone ever stop and just ask you what you think of the film? Like, what did Ben Affleck think of that? I thought uh, it was excellent. I uh, loved it. Uh, thank you very much. And I, 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 I know Zach would appreciate that. I mean, it's interesting. It was a movie that got like. That was a huge hit movie that, you know, so many, that more people went to see that than a, any movie I've ever made in my career. Mm. You know, this was my biggest hit of my career. And then it had some, a lot of editorial negativity. Although, the, the, I think the reviews were the sort fans of... fans liked it. Fans went. Well, now we obviously have that amazing <laughs> moment when you're writing on the, the window in the office. And as a filmmaker, I'm wondering how long that actually took someone to do and how much of that are you actually writing in yourself in that, in that moment when you're writing all those numbers in? It took a while. <laughs> it took a while. Was there somebody say. who was doing that, like just like all day long, writing those numbers? Well, what we did was uh, we we got we had Ben we got Ben's handwriting. That's a cool thing, actually. Yeah. Yeah, we got Ben's handwriting, and then we were replicating that with. Oh. Uh, so th th it, that really it turned wasn't... my handwriting into a font <laughs> with a computer. Yeah. What's that called? Affleck font. I guess they gave it to me. So now my you, I can type in my own handwriting, so they could print out with a computer in in, in a font that looks like.